And I'm Josh Radford. Here's our top story. Doctors say Hillary Clinton's blood clot was likely caused by her spending extended time in bed, which means it definitely wasn't Bill Clinton's fault. <laughs> On Wednesday, a maintenance worker at Walt Disney World found three grenades while emptying trash cans in the downtown Disney section of the park, added the worker. <laughs> Fortunately, the grenade was harmless, so the only bomb at Disney last year was John Carter. <laughs> <laughs> for this year's awards due to problems with a new electronic voting system. The Academy realized there were problems when early results showed Al Gore in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> On Friday, Kobe Bryant joined Twitter. Bryant started tweeting because he needed something to do to pass the time this season before the Lakers start playing basketball. <laughs> Next month, Starbucks will open its first store in Vietnam, said the manager of the Vietnam store. <laughs> Warning, customer. You may have flashback. Back to time when coffee costs less than nine dollars. <laughs> I rock the smell of French roast in the morning. Smell like big dirty. <laughs> Starbucks manager. <laughs> Kim Kardashian told Entertainment Tonight that she isn't, quote, a fan of being pregnant because it makes you bloated, slow, and tired. In other words, a lot like Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> Hugh Hefner married a playmate, Crystal Harris, on New Year's Eve. The couple watched the ball drop at midnight and then watched two more drop when Hef took off his robe. <laughs> and now where hard news meets Hollywood, here with the entertainment news is Taylor Swift. <laughs> success, it was thrown by his brother Peyton instead. <laughs> One in 24 U.S. adults say they recently fell asleep at the wheel. And 24 in 24 U.S. adults say they recently fell asleep while watching The Hobbit. <laughs> the movie was way too long. <laughs> Developers in Malaysia have created a social networking website for cats. The site is just like Facebook, but users must be spayed or neutered before they can post. Well, I was so expecting a pussy joke there. Staying away from that. I'm proud of you. 
A Southern California couple was honored by Disneyland after visiting the park all 366 days of 2012. Added the man. Yep, and on the 366th day, we finally found the right kid to take home with us. <laughs> <laughs> According to Men's Health Magazine, the best city for men in the United States is Boise, Idaho. And the worst is Rotten Penis Gulch, Wyoming. <laughs> it's not that bad. I've been there. <laughs> okay, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Woo! After negative feedback from fans, the Atlanta Braves might halt plans to put a screaming savage on the team's baseball caps. They're also reconsidering their plans for Smallpox Blanket Day. <laughs> Researchers have created a new pacemaker that is powered by heartbeats instead of batteries. The team is now hard at work on their next project, a wheelchair you push with your legs. 